The Silva Method, tapping the secrets of the mind for total self-mastery. The training you are about to commence will change your life by showing you how to use more of your mind. Just as over the past 25 years, it has enabled millions of people to use more of their minds. In 88 countries, from Argentina to Zimbabwe, and in all 50 states of the USA, the Silva Method is giving people of every race, creed, and educational level the tools to make a better life for themselves, their families, and everyone they're in contact with. Now, for the first time, it's available to you on audio cassette for home study. Here is the method that will put the powers of your higher intelligence to work for a fuller, richer, ever more successful life. And now, here's a brief introduction from the founder of the Silva Method. This is Jose Silva. The human mind is a magnificent organ of intelligence. Unfortunately, we are not taught how to fully use it. In fact, because of our limited understanding of the mind and our limited expectations of it, we limit the mind's ability to function at its full potential. You are about to change that. You are about to take a portion of the four-day Silva Method training that will empower you to go on to achieve an inner consciousness referred to by spiritual leaders as the kingdom within. Why a kingdom? Because you become a ruler. You take control of your behavior. You raise your IQ. You increase your influence for good, your problem-solving ability, your creativity and intuition. For success in this training, you must do more than simply listen to the voices on these tapes. You must follow their instructions for relaxing and programming yourself. The mind is like a computer. The silver method puts you in control of that computer so that you can program it with both words and mental pictures. The prominent male voice that you'll hear is that of Dr. Bob Stone, one of our veteran trainers who over the past two decades has brought the silver method to his home state of Hawaii and to a number of countries around the world. The female voice that you'll hear on this program is my daughter, Laura Silva, who took part in the original research and is today one of our most dynamic trainers. Laura and Bob will be valuable allies in helping you achieve your goals. But there's a third person who's even more important. That person is you. On these tapes, you'll be asked to do simple, natural, mental exercises, and you'll be given easy step-by-step -step instructions for doing them. Let me remind you that you cannot do these exercises while driving a car or doing anything else that demands your full attention. During certain exercises, you'll be asked to keep your eyes closed. You may listen to the program while driving, but don't do the exercises until you're able to sit in a comfortable chair in privacy and close your eyes. Please remember that silver training is sequential. That is, you progress from tape to tape, getting better as you go. So it's not advisable to skip ahead. I know that if you follow these procedures, this program will be a monumental experience for you and that like the others who have gone before you, you'll be able to use your mind in ways you never thought possible. Yet, this is just the beginning. To access even more of your inner genius, I hope that you'll take advantage of the bonus tape that's included with this program and that you'll consider enrolling later in the four-day Silva Method training. Now it's time to begin the program. I wish you all the best for listening, learning, and doing. Welcome, and congratulations on making one of the wisest decisions of your life. With the Silva Method, you'll learn how to get beyond the quantitative, rationalistic, left-brain thinking that dominates our world. And you'll learn to access a deep, meditative, right-brain level of mind where your mental powers are virtually unlimited. 
Jose Silva is a seminal figure in the evolution of human consciousness and achievement. And when you've learned to use his principles and techniques, there's no reason why you can't make truly great contributions of your own. By listening to these tapes, by performing the exercises you'll be introduced to, and by practicing what you hear in your daily life, you'll discover the secrets of how the greatest geniuses and the leading achievers of all time have used their mental powers. You'll be able to use the mental tools of the Silva Method to bring fulfillment to every area of your life. To begin your adventure in learning to gain control of your own mind's unlimited powers, let's take an overview of just what you're going to discover in this program. At the outset, you'll learn how one man, Jose Silva, harnessed powerful scientific and spiritual forces to develop a revolutionary new method for using the human mind more productively. He did it on his own, without the vast resources of any university or corporation. Indeed, during the early years, he had only the members of his own family as subjects for his investigations. In Jose Silva, you meet a truly self-made, results-minded genius in the tradition of Benjamin Franklin, Henry Ford, and Thomas Edison. Once you've become acquainted with Jose Silva's life and work, you'll gain a practical understanding of exactly how to put the Silva method into action for enhancing your own quality of life. Make no mistake, what you are about to begin is above all an experiential program. You won't just be hearing about Jose Silva or his techniques. You'll actually use them as you perform the exercises that are included on these tapes, beginning with a relaxation at the end of this side. As the program continues, you'll quickly become familiar with the two basic levels of human mental functioning, the beta level and the alpha level, and you'll learn how to access the alpha level to gain control of your mind's previously untapped resources. On subsequent cassettes, you'll discover how to use a process called mental house cleaning to free your mind of unwanted, unproductive negative thoughts that may be standing between you and your objectives. The fact is, Every time you say, I can't, or I don't want, or never, you're putting obstacles in your own path. Mental house cleaning will enable you to replace those obstacles with new positive affirmations of being healthy, being in control, and even of being blessed. You'll learn to create a mental screen within your mind and to use it for goal setting and goal achievement in both your work and in your personal life. With the mental screen, you'll be able to instantly correct whatever it is in your life that isn't exactly as you want it. How can this be possible? You see, everything that exists in physical form had a prior existence in the purely mental or spiritual dimension. Everything around you was a thought before it became a physical reality. This truth is the basis of the effectiveness of the Silva method. This is why the method is so powerful. Its techniques go right to the dimension from which all our experience originates. The mental screen will give you a special place for visualizing and transferring whatever you choose back to the spiritual dimension, where positive alterations can be made. And that's only the start. You'll gain a new and superior capacity for mental discipline, to improve your memory, your concentration, and your learning speed, and to enable you to literally think like a genius. By creating your own ideal mental environment, Jose Silva calls it your mental laboratory, you'll be able to work for your own improved health and happiness, and to do the same for others. You'll acquire new knowledge of the mind's hidden powers of clairvoyance, and you'll learn new definitions of misunderstood terms like ESP and psychic phenomena. And finally, by the end of the program, you'll realize the full scope of the great step forward in human understanding that is now taking place. What's more, with the skills and powers you will have gained through the Silva Method, you'll be in the vanguard of that revolution in human consciousness for the betterment of your own life and the lives of everyone around you. As Albert Einstein once pointed out, most people use only about 10% of their brain power. By the time you reach the end of this program, that most people will no longer include you. Your guide throughout this Nightingale Conan program will be Dr. Robert B. Stone, who in collaboration with Jose Silva has adapted these amazing techniques to assist you in achieving a healthier, happier, and more fulfilling life. 
Now, here's Dr. Stone. Silva, the founder of the powerful method of mind control that you're about to learn, is a great American success story. He never had a day of formal education in his life. Yet Jose Silva went on to become a successful businessman, an inventor, an electronic specialist, and one of the most important contributors to our knowledge of the workings of the human brain. The story began in Laredo, Texas, where Jose Silva was born. At the age of six, when other children were still in kindergarten, Jose was already selling newspapers and shining shoes to support his family after the untimely death of his father. As a teenager, he organized a group of other youngsters to sell products door-to-door. -door. Before most other youngsters had even had their first jobs, Jose had supported himself and his family by cleaning offices, repairing appliances, and even by selling baby chicks. During his service in the Army in World War II, Jose became interested in psychology, and this led to studies in hypnosis, parapsychology, and mind research. Later, he began an electronics business and was a pioneer in developing antenna systems in the early days of television. And as his electronics business grew, so did Jose's research into the hidden workings of the mind. Jose's interest in harnessing the powers of the subconscious by means of what is called the alpha level developed in a direction that most parents share. That is, he wanted to help his children improve their schoolwork. He had called upon his study of hypnotism to formulate a practical procedure for improving his children's grades by strengthening their concentration and increasing their attention spans. The secret was simple but powerful. It was all a matter of relaxation, both physical and mental. But then something happened that would refocus all of Jose Silva's thinking about the mind, an unexpected breakthrough that opened up opportunities for advancing human potential further than he had ever imagined. As part of helping his children, Jose used to read them lessons while they were in a pleasantly relaxed state, a state similar to a hypnotic trance, but at a level where they could still ask and answer questions. On the day of the breakthrough, he was reading some poems to his daughter Isabel, who was then ten years old. As usual, Jose planned to read the poems to Isabel three times, bringing her out of the relaxed state between each reading and then easing her back down again. On the second reading, Jose decided to put the poems in a different order. But when he started to speak, Isabel interrupted him and began reciting the next poem he had intended to read. When she finished, Jose resumed reading another poem. But Isabel again interrupted by reciting the verses he had planned to read after that. Jose was stunned, but there could be no doubt about what had happened. His daughter was reading his mind. And this was not a carnival act with hidden microphones or mirrors. This was happening in his own living room. What sort of explanation was possible? As he read to Isabel, could his mind somehow be broadcasting his intentions? And could his daughter's mind, while in a relaxed state, somehow gain the ability to act as a receiver of his thoughts? Did the brain have the equivalent of electronic components that were able to act as transmitters and receptors? The answer to these questions proved to be a resounding yes. It was the start of a period of learning and growth that continues to this day, that has seen the expansion of the silver method throughout the world, its acceptance by schools and by businesses, and its continuing benefits for humanity. With training... Jose's daughter Isabel became more and more accurate in guessing what her father was going to say. In fact, it was not long before Jose was convinced that he had turned his daughter into a genuine clairvoyant. And he was confident that he could train other people to use their minds in even more astonishing ways. Over the next ten years, Jose trained 39 subjects to develop clairvoyant abilities. Then he began assembling independently functioning groups with whom he worked to turn out ever greater numbers of super minds. What had begun as a simple desire to improve his children's schoolwork became a full-fledged effort to reveal the powers and secrets of the human mind. That effort was successful. The program you're hearing now is one result of it, and those powers of the mind are yours for the taking. Remember... 
This is a program about doing things, about making things happen. So let me tell you right now exactly what you'll need to put the Silva Method to work in your life. What you will need, in a word, is faith. And despite the religious connotations of that word, I'm not speaking specifically about a belief in God. The kind of faith I'm referring to has three components. They are desire, belief, and expectancy. Desire, belief, and expectancy are words that express feelings, and feelings are subjective. They exist within us, not as objects in the physical world like chairs or airplanes. But despite the fact that your feelings cannot be photographed or measured with a yardstick, they most certainly are real, and they are potentially very potent forces. Desire has led to the creation of everything that man has achieved throughout human history. Expectation and belief have powered that desire. Yes, what I call faith is a real energy at work. It is creative, and it's focused by your own mind. When you say things like, I don't desire, I don't expect, or I don't believe, you are keeping your mind's creative energy turned off. When you say, I desire, you turn the energy on. When you add, I believe, you're turning up the voltage. And when you declare, I expect, there's no limit to what you can accomplish. The over the past decades has confirmed the fact that most successful people use their brains differently than the average person does. These successful people use more of their brains, and they use them in a special manner. With the Silva Method, you'll discover how you can start using your mind like a genius. Here's Dr. Stone to explain. The first step in tapping into the hidden resources of your mind is to take a good look at how it works. A good way to do this is to refer to the progress guide that accompanies this program. The chart on page 3 illustrates our concepts about the body, the brain, and the mind. As you can see, the chart is divided both horizontally and vertically. The left side represents the physical, the center section, the brain, and the right side represents the mental. The calibrated track running from top to bottom of the chart is a measurement scale of the brain's vibration rate. Just as your heart beats so many times per minute, your brain emits a certain number of vibrations or cycles per second. You may ask, why is the chart called the scale of brain evolution? I think the answer is very interesting and very important. Science tells us that the human brain developed over millions of years. At first, the brain frequency, that is, its rate of vibration, must have been very low. Gradually, it evolved the capacity to function at higher and higher frequencies, with the beta level the highest level known to date. This process of evolution from low frequency to high frequency is repeated in every human embryo, with the first detectable frequencies being delta. Once the embryo's brain reaches today's state of evolution, the child is born. As children grow, they begin to use more of their brains, as evidenced by faster frequencies. At about the time that the baby teeth fall out and the permanent teeth appear, there's an important shift in mental functioning. Now alpha frequency is dominant. The right side of the brain begins to be used more. The child becomes more imaginative, and rapid learning can take place. This is a critical moment in human development. If the child is taught at this point to use both the left and right brain hemispheres for thinking, he or she will retain that valuable ability throughout life. But unfortunately, very few people learn to use both brain hemispheres. For most people, overall average brainwave frequency increases as development proceeds. Right brain thinking decreases, and ultimately about 90% of humanity come to use only the left brain hemisphere in thinking. As you master the silver method, you will learn to access more of your mind by slowing down your brain wave frequency to the alpha level. That is between 7 to 14 vibrations per second. In other words, the silver method is a way of voluntarily entering the alpha level while retaining conscious control of your mind. Now, both brain hemispheres, not just the left, can take part in the thinking process. 
With the right hemisphere participating, you are literally a different person than when only your left hemisphere is involved in thinking. You are wiser. You have a higher IQ. You are more creative. You can solve whatever problems confront you, and you are able to achieve your life's goals. Sound interesting? Let me give you some instances of the silver method in action. For example, suppose you're a jet engine inspector in an aerospace plant on the West Coast. Your job is to spot defects in the engines by using electronic equipment. As you arrive on the assembly line, you unfocus your eyes and visualize that the next engine on the line has arrived. You check out the engine in your imagination. You spot a defect in your mental picture. Sure enough, it shows up electronically later. A coincidence? Jose Silva's definition of coincidence is when higher intelligence, your own higher intelligence, lends a hand to the picture but chooses not to sign it. Another example. Imagine yourself as the manager of a real estate investment firm. You want contacts from people who are interested in selling their property. You enter your alpha level, you program yourself to get exactly what you want, and you do get it. Because of your desire, expectation, and belief, you get more property listings than you can handle. Although from a scientific viewpoint, we can now understand the power of mental programming, the fact remains that it works like magic. A storekeeper who uses the silver method will be more skillful in establishing a proper inventory from season to season. He or she will know just which items to stock and in the correct quantity. A medical doctor or other health care worker can learn to be more accurate in diagnosis than any piece of laboratory equipment because although left brain perceptions can be deceived, right brain sensing is uncannily dependable. The examples could go on and on. Users of the silver method are able to see results like these in their daily lives. If you complete this program and practice what you've learned, you may be able to do even more. You can achieve virtually any worthwhile goal once you take control of the full powers of your mind. You've now gained some familiarity with the Silva Method, how it originated, how it works, and what it can do for you. You're ready to actually perform your first exercise, but perform isn't really the correct word because there's no effort required. It's a simple relaxation exercise. Whenever you do an exercise on this program, you'll always be told exactly what to expect before you begin. There are no surprises. This is not a form of hypnotism. You won't be lulled into a trance, and you will be in control at all times. In fact, if you heard something you didn't expect while you were at your alpha level, it would most likely bring you back up to beta and terminate the exercise. To receive the full benefit of the Silva Method exercises in this program, all you need to do is follow the instructions as you hear them. However, the exercises do require your full attention, so do not attempt to follow them while driving a car, operating machinery, or doing anything that prevents you from concentrating on the program. If you wish to repeat some of the exercises you've already heard, please feel free to do so, as this will strengthen your ability to reach your alpha level. On the other hand, skipping ahead is probably not a good idea. Silva Mind Control is a cumulative, progressive experience, with each exercise building upon the previous ones. To get the full benefit of the program, it's important to do the exercises in sequence. Now, here's Laura Silva to explain further. Our standard way of relaxing and entering the alpha dimension of brain frequency is to associate numbers with the desired states. Number six is the everyday conscious level. Number five is eyelid fatigue. Number four is eyes closed and ready to relax. Three is physical relaxation and two is mental relaxation. Number one is the alpha plane level 
that you can use for whatever purpose you desire. Just closing your eyes eliminates about 85% of your awareness of the outside world and causes your brain to function at a lower frequency. Closing the eyes and sitting quietly is, in fact, a simple Silva method technique for learning to function at Alpha. That's what you'll be doing in the first exercise, simply relaxing with your eyes closed. To begin, take a seat in a comfortable chair, preferably one in which your back is straight, but not rigid. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and exhale. To help you enter a relaxed state of mind, I'm now going to count backwards from 10 to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7. Feel yourself relax and go deeper. 6, 5, 4, deeper and deeper. 3, 2, 1. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind. Relax your eyelids. Feel how relaxed they are. Allow this feeling of relaxation to flow throughout your body all the way down to your toes. I'm now going to be silent for a moment. When you next hear my voice, it will not startle you, and it will be as if an hour of time has passed at this level of mind. I will now bring you out of this level of relaxation by counting from one to five. When you open your eyes at the count of five, you will be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. One, two, three. When you open your eyes at the count of five, you will be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. Four, five. Feeling better than before, feeling as you do when you've had the right amount of relaxing, healthy sleep. As your training proceeds, you will learn to completely relax physically and mentally while at your alpha level. This will not only relieve stress, but can also strengthen your health. Your body heals itself at the alpha level by relaxing for 15 minutes each day at this level of brain function you can improve your physical well-being and make yourself more resistant to illness and when you learn to function at the alpha brain wave level you'll also be able to apply silver method techniques to solve problems and to help you achieve your goals managing money or dealing with stress and conflict are things that require real work to deal with. Yet there are people who seem to be able to meet these kinds of everyday challenges or perhaps any kind of challenge easily and without apparent effort. There's a word that might be used to describe someone who does with ease what most people find difficult and the word is genius. It's true that genius usually refers to highly talented artists or scientists but that's a too narrow use of the word. Genius can mean a person who has learned to live life to the full extent of his or her capabilities. And since your capabilities, your powers, are virtually unlimited, once you've learned to use them, your life will be truly extraordinary. The purpose of the Silva Method is not to turn you into a genius, but to reveal the genius that you already are. Now, here's Dr. Bob Stone to continue your training. As we discussed on side one, the Silva method is a way of voluntarily entering the alpha level of mental activity. That is, a brain frequency of between 7 
and 14 beats per second. At the alpha level, you are able to use more of your mind, and your mind controls your brain. The brain itself is similar to a compact but extremely powerful computer. The three pounds of matter that make up the brain include about 30 billion neurons. Neurons are like the circuits in a computer. Each neuron is a collection of molecules that acts together to process and store information. The idea is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Inside your head is a computer with the equivalent of 30 billion circuits. But that's actually selling yourself short. Since every atom making up those neurons is contributing to your intelligence, it's not the 30 billion figure, but rather the total number of atoms, some 100 trillion trillion that represent your total brain power. Now, how large a number is 100 trillion trillion? This will give you some idea. Imagine yourself sitting in your living room and that each atom of your brain is a BB gun pellet. With 100 trillion trillion of these pellets at your disposal, would you have enough to fill up your living room? Yes, you most certainly would. Would you have enough to fill up your neighbor's living room? Yes, and with plenty left over. Now suppose that every second you filled up another living room. It would take you 20 million years before you ran out of BBs. Yes, you have a lot of potential brain power. The problem is, most people use only a fraction of it. The goal of the silver method is to multiply that fraction up to infinity. The next conditioning cycle we'll do begins just like the previous one. Laura will ask you to close your eyes and will help you reach your alpha level with a 10 to 1 countdown. Then, once you're at alpha, she'll ask you to imagine, to visualize, to mentally project yourself to your own personal ideal place of relaxation. Take a moment to think about that now. Your ideal place of relaxation can be anywhere, but it should be an actual place you visited. Some people like to picture themselves floating on an inflated raft at a pool or a beach. Another person might remember a quiet spot on a farm they visited when they were a child. The important thing is to visualize a setting in which you have felt completely relaxed and at peace. Also, in the conditioning cycle you're about to do, you'll hear a carefully worded affirmation read to you while you're at Alpha, a statement for your benefit to increase your powers of mind. It's like a very beneficial program offered to your mental computer. Accept it, and it becomes programming. The affirmation is, the difference between genius mentality and lay mentality is that geniuses use more of their minds and use them in a special manner. You are now learning to use more of your mind and to use it in a special manner. Now you may ask, what is the purpose of this statement? You might ask, is this supposed to program me to be a genius? The answer is, not only is it supposed to program you to be a genius, but it is programming you to be a genius. Or perhaps I should say, more of a genius because a genius is someone who uses more of his or her mind, who uses both the right side and the left side of the brain. That is what you are doing when you go to your alpha level. And then when you hear an affirmation at the alpha level, it enters your mind in a very basic, very powerful way. So these are the things that we will be doing in your second exercise. You'll visualize your ideal place of relaxation, and you'll hear the genius statement while you're at your level. Here's Laura. Comfortable chair. Preferably one with a straight back. I think you'll find that over the course of our conditioning cycles, you'll be most comfortable with your feet flat on the floor. We'll start this exercise with eyes closed. So close your eyes. Eyes closed. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, enter a deeper level of mind. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from ten to one. On each descending number, you will feel yourself going deeper, and you will enter a deeper, 
healthier level of mind. Ten. Nine. Feel going deeper. Eight. Seven. Six. Deeper and deeper. Five. Four. Three. Deeper and deeper. Two. One. Now you are at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. You may enter a deeper, healthier level of mind by simply relaxing your eyelids. Relax. Feel how relaxed they are. Allow this feeling of relaxation to flow slowly downward throughout your body, all the way down to your toes. It is a wonderful feeling to be deeply relaxed, a very healthy state of being. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I am going to count from one to three and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation. I will then stop talking to you and when you next hear my voice, one hour of time will have elapsed at this level of mind. My voice will not startle you. You will take a deep breath, relax, and to go deeper. One. Two. Three. Project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation until you hear my voice again. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, relax and go deeper. You will continue to listen to my voice. You will continue to follow the instructions at this level of the mind and any other level, including the outer conscious level. This is for your benefit. You desire it, and it is so. Whenever you hear me mention the word relax, all unnecessary movements of your body, brain, and mind will cease immediately, and you will become completely passive and relaxed physically and mentally. I may bring you out of this level or a deeper level than this by counting to you from one to five. At the count of five, your eyes will open. You will be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health. The difference between genius mentality and lay mentality is that geniuses use more of their minds and use them in a special manner. You are now learning to use more of your mind and to use it in a special manner. In the next exercise, we will impress and program beneficial statements for your benefit. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no headache, no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing, no buzzing in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your vision and eyesight. Vision, eyesight, and hearing improve every time you function at these levels of the mind. 
One, two, coming out slowly now. Three, at the count of five, you will open your eyes, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before, feeling the way you feel when you have slept the right amount of revitalizing, refreshing, relaxing, healthy sleep. Four, five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. I was speaking a few moments ago about the fantastic power of the human brain, and I'd like to return to that subject, to a characteristic of the brain that's absolutely central to understanding how it works. You see, in a sense, it's almost two brains, because it's divided into a right hemisphere and a left hemisphere. Each has different functions. The right brain, for example, controls the physical functioning of the left side of the body, and the left brain controls the body's right side. This has been known for many years. We've also known for a long time that if one side of the brain is injured, the other side will support it as a backup system. But beyond discerning the relationship to opposite sides of the body, early research into the hemispheres of the brain ran into a formidable block. Because of the interconnection of the two sides, scientists could not isolate right and left brain functions. The connection of the hemispheres was sometimes severed in mentally ill patients, and in them the distinction between types of brain activity was clearer. But these were not normal subjects, so the research could not be generalized to the population as a whole. Then it was discovered that one hemisphere could be anesthetized while the other remained unaffected. And from this research came a startling discovery. We live in a left brain world. That is, the left brain is interested in the exterior, material environment. The left brain is involved in activity, motion, logical thinking, and the understanding of time and space. The right brain, on the other hand, turned out to have a different perspective. Its interest was more internal than external. It wanted to guide its thinking by feelings and hunches. It was creative, intuitive, instinctive. To an everyday way of thinking, the right brain viewpoint seemed out of step with reality. This explains why the right brain and its functions has been virtually ignored by conventional methods of education since the purpose of those methods has been to prepare us to survive in the material world. In a similar way, the right brain has never figured prominently in our ways of conducting government, international relations, politics, business, health care. All these areas of our lives are considered part of the material world. As a result, these entire categories of human existence have been deprived of right brain intelligence an intelligence that seems to be somehow anchored behind external creation. Instead of speaking of right and left brain functions, the Silva method uses a different terminology. We speak of objective and subjective functioning. The reason for this is simple. Jose Silva had been aware of the distinction between the two kinds of brain activity since his childhood, when he first felt the power of his intuitive right brain intelligence. And because he never had the opportunity to attend school, his right brain development was never suppressed by the demands of a conventional education. The end result was the Silva method of mind control had been launched and was underway for nearly a decade before Jose learned that what he had always called objective functioning was located in the left brain and subjective functioning was located in the right. Now, please don't misunderstand I'm not trying to say that traditional education isn't important or beneficial. I attended the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a left-brain institution if there ever was one, and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do so. But what I am saying is that there are great benefits to be gained from what might be called a right-brain education, perhaps culminating with a Ph.D. in clairvoyance. 
functioning primarily with the left side of the brain is like going through life with one arm tied behind your back. By listening to this program and participating in the conditioning cycles, by reading the books that are available on the Silva Method, or by attending the four-day Silva Method course in person, by doing those things, you are becoming right brain educated. And school is in session now. Sometimes it's tempting to think that if something isn't complicated, it can't be any good. Regarding psychology, for instance, we've come to believe that if a theory doesn't come complete with a difficult terminology that only a select group of initiates can really master, then the theory is too simple and can't work. But this was never the way Jose Silva looked at things. Of necessity, Jose always had a very practical orientation. In other words, he looked for results. And if the results were there, he was ready to accept the theory, whether it was complicated or not. Here's a case in point. Emil Coué was a Frenchman, a chemist. In the early years of this century, he experimented with hypnotism and then evolved his own technique of psychotherapy based on autosuggestion. He had his own clinic where this technique was employed, treating literally thousands of patients suffering from a wide variety of afflictions and he cured many of them. The cures are well documented, although Kuwe liked to emphasize that the patients had really cured themselves. The technique was based on two principles. First, that the mind can think only one thought at a time. Second, that concentrating on the thought repeatedly over a period of time will make that thought true. The mind will believe it and transform the thought into reality. Those are the principles of Kuwe's technique. And here is the practice. It's so simple that some people find it laughable. But remember, we're interested in results, period. Emil Kuwe's method is to simply repeat to yourself, every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. It's not complicated, but it works. Because the mind believes what you tell it and transforms what it hears into reality. Now, when you're at your alpha level, the suggestive power of words is greatly magnified. In our next conditioning cycle, we're going to program what you might call an enhanced version of Kuwe's method. Every day, in every way, I'm getting better, better, and better, together with other beneficial statements that your mind will take in at the alpha level and will accept and will transform into reality. So, in this next exercise that Laura will be leading you through, you'll again be visualizing your ideal place of relaxation. You'll again hear the genius affirmation. And then you'll hear the new beneficial statements. And please remember, going to your alpha level is the foundation upon which all of the silver method is built. All of the advanced techniques you'll learn later in the program are possible because you trained yourself to go to your level. So please give these beginning conditioning cycles your full attention. You might even want to repeat them for reinforcement. Also, use the bonus tape included with this program. Listen to it daily in order to strengthen your ability to enter Alpha. The next exercise. We'll start by asking you to assume a comfortable sitting position. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath and to go deeper. You are now at a deeper level of mind, deeper than before. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from 10 to 1. On each descending number, you will feel yourself going deeper and you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. Ten. Nine. Feel going deeper. Eight. Seven. Six. Deeper and deeper. Five. Four. Three. Deeper and deeper. Two. One. You are now at a deeper, 
healthier level of mind, deeper than before. You may enter a deeper, healthier level of mind by simply relaxing your eyelids. Relax. Feel how relaxed they are. Allow this feeling of relaxation to flow slowly downward throughout your body all the way down to your toes. It is a wonderful feeling to be deeply relaxed, a very healthy state of being. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I'm going to count from one to three and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation. I will then stop talking to you and when you next hear my voice, one hour of time will have elapsed at this level of mind. My voice will not startle you. You will take a deep breath, relax, and to go deeper. One, two, three. Project yourself mentally to your ideal place of relaxation until you hear my voice again. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, relax and go deeper. You will continue to listen to my voice, you will continue to follow the instructions at this level of the mind and any other level, including the outer conscious level. This is for your benefit. You desire it, and it is so. Whenever you hear me mention the word relax, all unnecessary movements of your body, brain, and mind will cease immediately and you will become completely passive and relaxed physically and mentally. I may bring you out of this level or a deeper level than this by counting to you from one to five. At the count of five, your eyes will open. You'll be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health. The difference between genius mentality and lay mentality is that geniuses use more of their minds and use them in a special manner. You are now learning to use more of your mind and to use it in a special manner. The following are beneficial statements that you may occasionally Repeat while at these levels of the mind. Repeat mentally after me. My increasing mental faculties are for serving humanity better. Every day, in every way, I am getting better, better, and better. Positive thoughts bring me benefits and advantages I desire. I have full control and a complete dominion over my sensing faculties at this level of the mind and any other level, including the outer conscious level, and this is so. I will always maintain a perfectly healthy body and mind.
This is mind control. Your own self mind control. You are always in control. You may accept or reject anything I say at any time, at any level of the mind. You are always in control. The next mind control exercise on site three will include sound effects that will help you to relax physically and mentally so that you may enter deeper, healthier levels of mind. For an explanation of what these sounds are and how they help you to relax, see your progress guide. You will learn to use the 5 to 1 method for entering deep levels of mind. You will also learn to use the standard 3 to 1 method for entering levels. You will learn to use level 3 for complete physical relaxation from head to toes in a matter of seconds. You will learn to completely relax mentally at level 2. You will learn to use the deepening exercises at level 1, when to use them, and for how long. You will learn to come out of any level of mind at any time. Every time you function at these levels of the mind, you will receive beneficial effects physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help yourself physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help your loved ones physically and mentally. You will never use these levels of the mind to bring harm of any kind. Should this be your intention, you will not be able to do so. You will always use these levels of the mind in a constructive, creative manner for all that is good, honest, pure, clean, and positive. And this is so. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will open your eyes be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no headache, no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing, no buzzing in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your vision and eyesight. Vision, eyesight, and hearing improve every time you function at these levels of the mind. One, two, coming out slowly now. Three, at the count of five, you will open your eyes, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. Feeling the way you feel when you have slept the right amount of revitalizing, refreshing, relaxing, healthy sleep. Four. Five. Eyes open. Side three of the Silva Method. On the previous cassette, you learned how hearing affirmations and positive statements while you're at your alpha level can have a beneficial effect on every area of your life. Even while you're at the level of everyday outer consciousness, that is the beta level of brain frequency, positive statements to yourself or to others will naturally bring positive results. But the converse is also true. If you allow yourself to develop a negative orientation, which is reflected in your thoughts, words, and deeds, the effect on you will be correspondingly and overwhelmingly negative. To deal with this potential problem, Jose Silva developed a technique called mental house cleaning. 
Dr. Bob Stone will explain. Very few people need any instruction in negative self-programming. You don't need to read any books or to take any classes in programming yourself negatively. It's obviously something that people learn to do very well on their own. But what does negative self-programming really mean? What does this programming consist of? It consists of two things, negative words and negative pictures, repeated many times over. When you repeat words again and again, when you hold images in your mind for prolonged periods of time, these words and images very quickly begin to function as mental programs. And now that you've begun training yourself to open up your brain to the full range and force of your mind's thinking activity, you are also more open than ever to the effects of the words and images that you use. So if you've gotten into some of the negative patterns that afflict the vast majority of people, it's important to do something about them now. The Silva method, of course, is very positively oriented. Everything you hear on this program is positive, but I would like to take a moment here to focus on typical negative language and images and to show you how to get them out of your head and out of your life and out of your body, too. I said out of your body because so-called figures of speech can actually program your body's functioning from normal good health to pain, fatigue, and literally every sort of abnormality. Consider a phrase like this, Joe Blow gives me a pain in the neck. If you wake up with a pain in the neck before long, think back to how you got it. And it wasn't from Joe Blow. You may be talking about somebody you don't even know, somebody you last saw five years ago and who lives a thousand miles away, but your mental computer doesn't process that. It can't. It isn't set up to understand that. Your mental computer hears just one thing, pain in the neck and it hears it not just once, but over and over again. Here's another one. He gives me a headache. That's very similar to talking about the pain in the neck. It's very specific in its programming. Your mental computer hears this, and the inevitable result is one headache coming up. This one is more open-ended. She makes me sick. That's just holding the door wide open for sickness in general. You can probably think of dozens of more examples of this. The list could go on and on. He broke my heart. That burns me up. You're driving me crazy. The point is, when you use phrases like this, regardless of your original intention, they get programmed into your mental computer, and they inevitably translate into real facts and real problems in your life. Why? Because your mind runs your body automatically. It's vital that you understand that. Your mental computer has no critical judgment. It has no ironic distance. It has no sense of humor whatsoever. When you say, he's a pain in the neck, your mental computer doesn't ask if you're joking. It takes you at your word. It has no choice. And it does its best to accommodate you. With the Silver Method, you can perform what we call mental house cleaning to replace negative patterns with positive self-programming. When you catch yourself using negative words or phrases, you can erase them from your computer by quickly saying, cancel, cancel. Those two words clear your mind, your mental computer, just like pushing a key clears the screen of a word processor. Cancel, cancel. Then you immediately replace the negative form of what you just said with a more positive version. For instance, suppose you catch yourself saying something like, that idea leaves me cold. Now, do you really want a cold? All that coughing and sneezing? Absolutely not. So you say, cancel, cancel, and replace, it leaves me cold, with a more positive phrase. But you don't have to change the meaning. You can still get the same idea across. Maybe you would now say, well, it's going to take me a little while to warm up to that idea. Another important point, always use the phrase better and better at every opportunity. That way you can put a mini version of the Kue technique to work throughout the day. If somebody says, how are you? You answer, better and better. How do you like the bologna sandwiches? Better and better. 
Before long, it becomes part of you, like a reflex. Better and better will function as a sort of verbal compass to keep you pointed in the positive direction you want to go. Mental house cleaning isn't limited to language either. You use it with thoughts and daydreams as well. These can be at least as counterproductive as what you say out loud, since most of us spend more time talking to ourselves than we do to other people. Suppose it's the first of the month and you're saying to yourself, how am I going to make my car payments? I don't have the money. And you're imagining somebody coming in a big tow truck to repossess your car. There's a very simple but amazingly effective mental house cleaning solution to that. Just erase that image of the tow truck and replace it with a new mental picture of yourself having the money and writing the final check that pays off your car loan once and for all. Or, even better, better and better, visualize paying cash for a brand new car, the one you've always wanted. That's mental house cleaning. And remember, the unlimited power of your mind will find a way to translate that vision into reality. Train yourself to focus on what you want. Turn it into a reflex, and you'll get it. You may have been conditioned to believe that it has to take a long time and perhaps cost a lot of money to alter long-established negative attitudes. That simply isn't true. The Silva Method has proven again and again that you can change yourself quickly, easily, and without great expense. You can do it by yourself. Because you are your own master. You are in control. Here are some specific steps you can take right now toward a more positive way of life. First, get a pen and a piece of paper and list the negative thoughts, attitudes, or behaviors you want to change. Be honest with yourself. If you feel you have a problem in a certain area, admit it. Then, in a parallel column on the same piece of paper, list the opposite positive qualities, the way you want to be, the way you're going to be. Now, sit down, close your eyes, relax, and count down to your alpha level as we've been doing. Focus on the first negative characteristic that you wrote on your list. Focus on it clearly, then assert the opposite quality from your parallel list. Focus just as hard on that new programming. Really see yourself as you're going to be. Count up from one to five, reasserting the positive programming at the count of three, and again when you open your eyes at five. Claim the new quality as your own emphatically. Every day, focus on another characteristic from your list and replace it with the positive one. When you get to the bottom of the list, take stock of what you have accomplished and what you still need to work on and repeat the procedure where necessary. Let's take a specific example of this technique in action. In the book, The Silver Mind Control Method for Getting Help from Your Other Side, which I wrote together with Jose Silva, we discuss a man named Arthur Kay, who was a true gloom and doom thinker. He was always talking himself out of things because of the possibility that something might go wrong, even if there was just the slightest chance of it. And he didn't have to expect that there was going to be a major catastrophe either. Just a slight chance that something might go slightly wrong was enough to convince Arthur Kay that the best course was doing nothing. If he had been thinking of going out to dinner, he talked himself out of it because he might not be able to find a parking space. If he had been planning to go to the ball game, he looked up in the sky, searched for a cloud, and if he even thought he saw one, he decided it was going to rain. When he attended the four-day Silver Method course, Arthur realized that he had programmed this pessimistic gloom-and-doom reflex into himself, and he also realized he could change. He wrote down on a piece of paper a brief, honest description of himself as he was, and beside it he wrote a description of how he wanted to be. He counted down to his alpha level and focused on his weakness. He faced it honestly. Then he focused on the new person he wanted to become. He programmed himself to change. He mentally said to himself, When I count to five and open my eyes, I will no longer worry what can go wrong. I will be an optimist, and from now on, I will expect things to go right. He began his count-up. At the count of three, he repeated his positive programming, 
and then completed his count. When he reached five and opened his eyes, Arthur repeated his new programming for the third time. I am no longer a pessimist and a worrier. I am an optimist, and I expect a successful outcome to whatever I do. There were no flashes of lightning and no claps of thunder. There was no mental suffering or great expense. Arthur just took control and turned himself into a positive person who attracted positive events in his life. So be sure to set aside some time to do your own mental house cleaning. You'll be amazed at the positive changes you can create. The next Silva Method exercise you'll do is an extended relaxation designed to make you more adept at reaching your alpha level and to make it easier for you to attain that level whenever you want in the future. By repeating this long relax exercise several times over the course of a week, you can make it even more beneficial. This exercise was developed by Jose Silva over many years of research. It will allow you to attain a state of deep relaxation deeper than sleep itself, yet accompanied by that special kind of awareness. Here's Dr. Stone to further explain the exercise. During this part of your conditioning cycle, we'll focus individually and progressively on the various parts of your body, on the specific muscle groups, to relax them one by one. As we focus on each area of your body, turn your full awareness to that area. Let yourself feel it internally consciously knowing it's there. This awareness may take the form of a tingling sensation or a sensation of warmth, which is caused by blood circulating. Then, as you relax, the blood will circulate even better. Relaxing yourself physically in this way will have a corresponding effect on your brain frequency. Remember that the alpha level is defined as being between 7 and 14 pulsations per second. Some people may reach this range after only a few practice sessions, while others may take longer. This exercise will do a great deal to deepen your state of relaxation, to bring you to your alpha level, and make it easier to achieve the benefits you want. After we've counted down to begin the exercise, you'll begin to hear a specially designed pulsing sound, a sound which has been proven to facilitate relaxation. If it seems distracting at first, don't try to force yourself to ignore it. Just make it part of the experience. Indeed, you shouldn't try to force yourself to ignore any distractions. If you're interrupted for any reason during the exercise, if you feel uncomfortable or you want to open your eyes, just go ahead and do so. And then when you're ready to resume, you should reset the tape to this point, to the beginning of our countdown. This relaxation exercise Laura will be guiding you through will comprise the rest of this tape side. Exercise with the 5 to 1 method. Assume a comfortable sitting position, facing straight ahead, with your eyes turned upward at a 45 degree angle. Select and concentrate your sight on any spot on the wall and keep from blinking as long as possible. Mentally repeat and visualize the number five several times until you feel your eyelids fatigued and wanting to close. When you feel this, do not force your eyes to remain open. Close them and keep them closed until the end of this exercise. Five. Five, 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 five. Close your eyes. With your eyes closed, mentally repeat and visualize the number four several times, and you are at level four. A deeper level than five. Whenever you close your eyes to function at deeper levels of mind, occasionally tell yourself mentally, 
If someone calls me, or in case of danger, or an emergency, I will open my eyes immediately and be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health. To enter the physical relaxation level three, mentally repeat and visualize the number three several times and you are at level three. A deeper level than four and much deeper than five. Level three is for physical relaxation. To learn to relax from head to toes in a matter of seconds. To help you learn to relax physically at level three, I'm going to direct your attention to different parts of your body. Concentrate your sense of awareness on your scalp, the skin that covers your head. You will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation, a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Now release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your head and place it in a deep state of relaxation that will grow deeper as we continue. Concentrate your sense of awareness on your forehead, the skin that covers your forehead. You will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation, a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Now release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your head and place it in a deep state of relaxation that will grow deeper as we continue. Concentrate your sense of awareness on your eyelids and the tissue surrounding your eyes. You will detect a fine vibration, a tingling sensation, a feeling of warmth caused by circulation. Now release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your head and place it in a deep state of relaxation that will grow deeper as we continue. Concentrate your sense of awareness on your face, the skin covering your cheeks. Now release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your head and place it in a deep state of relaxation that will grow deeper as we continue. Concentrate on the outer portion of your throat, the skin covering your throat area. Now release and completely relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your body. Concentrate within the throat area and relax all tensions and ligament pressures from this part of your body.
Concentrate on your shoulders. Feel your clothing in contact with your body. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering this part of the body. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place your shoulders in a deep state of relaxation, going deeper and deeper every time. Concentrate on your chest. Feel your clothing in contact with your body. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering your chest. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place your chest in a deep state of relaxation, going deeper and deeper every time. Concentrate within the chest area. Relax all organs. Relax all glands. Relax all tissues, including the cells themselves, and cause them to function in a rhythmic, healthy manner. Concentrate on your abdomen. Feel your clothing in contact with your body. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering your abdomen. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place your abdomen in a deep state of relaxation, going deeper and deeper every time. Concentrate within the abdominal area. Relax all organs. Relax all glands. Relax all tissues, including the cells themselves, and cause them to function in a rhythmic, healthy manner. Concentrate on your thighs. Feel your clothing in contact with your body. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering your thighs. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place your thighs in a deep state of relaxation going deeper and deeper every time. Sense the vibrations at the bones within the thighs. By now, these vibrations should be easily detectable. Concentrate on your knees. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering the knees. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place your knees in a deep state of relaxation, going deeper and deeper every time. 
concentrate on your calves. Feel the skin and the vibration of the skin covering your calves. Relax all tensions and ligament pressures and place these parts of your body in a deep state of relaxation going deeper and deeper every time. To enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, concentrate on your toes. Enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. To enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, concentrate on the soles of your feet. Enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. To enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, concentrate on the heels of your feet. Enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. Now cause your feet to feel as though they do not belong to your body. Feel your feet as though they do not belong to your body. Your feet feel as though they do not belong to your body. Your feet, ankles, and the calves feel as though they do not belong to your body. Your feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, waist, shoulders, arms, and hands feel as though they do not belong to your body. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. This is your physical relaxation level three. Whenever you mentally repeat and visualize the number three, your body will relax as completely as you are now and more so every time you practice. To enter the mental relaxation level two, mentally repeat and visualize the number two several times and you are at level two. A deeper level than three and much deeper then four, five, and six. Level two is for mental relaxation, where noises will not distract you. Instead, noises will help you to relax mentally more and more. To help you learn to relax mentally at level two, I'm going to call your attention to different passive scenes. Visualizing any scene that makes you tranquil and passive will help you relax mentally. Being at the beach on a nice summer day may be a tranquil and passive scene for you. A day out fishing may be a tranquil and passive scene for you.
A tranquil and passive scene for you may be a walk through the woods on a beautiful summer day when the breeze is just right, where there are tall shade trees, beautiful flowers, a very blue sky, an occasional cloud, birds singing in the distance, even squirrels playing on the tree limbs. Here, birds singing in the distance. This is mental relaxation, level two, where noises will not distract you. To enhance mental relaxation at level two, practice visualizing tranquil and passive scenes. To enter the basic plane level one, mentally repeat and visualize the number one several times. You are now at level one. The basic plane level that you are learning to use for a purpose, any purpose you desire. To enter deeper, healthier levels of mind, practice with the countdown deepening exercises. To deepen, count downward from 100 to 1, or from 50 to 1, or from 25 to 1. When you reach the count of one, you will have reached a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. You will always have full control and complete dominion over your faculties and senses at all levels of the mind, including the outer conscious level. The best time to practice the countdown deepening exercises is in the morning when you wake up. Remain in bed at least five minutes practicing the countdown deepening exercises. The second best time to practice is at night when you are ready to retire. The third best time to practice is at noon after lunch. Five minutes of practice is good. Ten minutes is very good. Fifteen minutes is excellent. Practicing once a day is good. Twice a day is very good. Three times a day is excellent. If you have a health problem, practice for 15 minutes three times a day. To come out of any level of the mind, count to yourself mentally from one to five. And tell yourself that at the count of five, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. Then proceed to count slowly from one to two, then to three, and at the count of three, mentally remind yourself that at the count of five, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. Proceed to count slowly to four, then to five. At the count of five, and with your eyes open, mentally tell yourself, I am wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, 
feeling better than before, and this is so. In your next session, you will enter level one by means of the three to one method. You will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, faster and easier than you did this time. You'll start the next session in a comfortable position with your eyes closed. You'll take a deep breath and while exhaling, you'll mentally repeat and visualize the number three, three times. And you will be at level three. Level three is for physical relaxation. You'll take another deep breath and while exhaling, you'll mentally repeat and visualize the number two, three times and you will be at level two, mental relaxation. You'll take another deep breath, and while exhaling, you'll mentally repeat and visualize the number one, three times, and you will be at level one, the basic plane level that you are learning to use for a purpose any purpose you desire. Every time you function at these levels of the mind, you will receive beneficial effects physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help yourself physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help any human being who needs help physically and mentally. You will never use these levels of the mind to harm any human being. If this be your intention, you will not be able to function at these levels of the mind. You will always use these levels of the mind in a constructive, creative manner for all that is good honest, pure, clean, and positive, and this is so. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five and to cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no headache, no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing, no buzzing in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your vision and eyesight. Vision, eyesight, and hearing improve every time you function at these levels of the mind. One two, coming out slowly now, three, at the count of five, you will open your eyes, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before, feeling the way you feel when you have slept the right amount of revitalizing, refreshing, relaxing, healthy sleep. Four, five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling... ...session of the Silva Method, you'll acquire two practical, powerful mental tools that can have unlimited applications in every area of your life. These tools are called the mental screen and the three fingers technique. There will be two conditioning exercises on this side in which you'll program these methods. To begin, here's Dr. Bob Stone to explain the mental screen and how to make it work for you. Some time ago, I heard about an experiment that was done in a high school. Not in a chemistry lab, but in a boy's physical education class. It was an experiment in learning to shoot basketball foul shots. At the start, the whole class was tested for accuracy in foul shooting, 
and then was divided into two groups of equal ability. Now for the next two weeks, one group practiced every day shooting foul shots in the gymnasium. The second group practiced too, but in an entirely different way. The second group never touched a basketball and never even entered the gym. The second group practiced at home in their living rooms or on the bus or pretty much anywhere they happened to be. What the second group did was they pictured. They visualized themselves making perfect foul shots. In their minds, over and over again, they saw the ball floating toward the hoop in a beautiful arc. They heard the swish of the net. What they didn't ever do was to picture the ball teetering on the rim of the basket and then falling off to the side for a miss. They never missed. They swished it every time. So that was the procedure for the experiment. And at the end of the two-week period, both groups were tested again in the gymnasium. It turned out that with a couple of weeks of practice, the first group had improved their score by a significant percentage, which was to be expected. But the second group had also improved by virtually the same percentage, and the second group had never even touched a basketball. The point is, mental imagery had proven to be as effective as physical activity in improving this skill. Because in order to program yourself to be able to shoot basketballs, in order to get that skill imprinted upon your mind, you've got to practice. But the mind doesn't know or care whether you're really practicing or imagining practice. The benefit will be the same. Because to the mind, imagined activity and actual physical activity are the same. You might like to try a variation of the same experiment. Get a wastebasket and a small ball or a wadded up piece of paper will do just as well. If you're doing this at the office and the boss catches you, tell him you're learning to increase your productivity. And it'll be the truth, too. Get far enough away from the basket so that when you toss the ball, you'll miss sometimes, and sometimes you'll get the ball in. Throw a few to make sure you're far enough away. Now, remember one of the times you missed. Picture it in your mind. Remember exactly what happened to the ball, as clearly as you can, so that you actually see it miss the basket and fall on the floor. Hold this memory in your mind as you throw six more balls and keep track of how many you make and how many you miss. Then change your memory picture to one of the best shots you've made, to the most recent toss that was a perfect hit. Focus on that image as you throw six more balls. When this is done, most people find their score improves, and your score would almost certainly improve if you continued the experiment over more than a few tries. The silver method is not concerned with tossing balls into baskets. But by using the same principle, you'll learn to use mental images in controlled ways to realize positive, creative solutions to problems you're facing and to invent unlimited new opportunities for yourself. One of the best tools to help you accomplish that is called the mental screen. You've already learned a great deal about controlling your relaxation. What you're going to do now is gain control of your visualization and imagination. You'll notice we use two words for mental picturing, visualization and imagination. Because you can visualize something you've seen before, something you can remember. But if you've never seen it, you have to imagine it. You're going to learn to project your visualization and imagination onto your mental screen, which is an internal image of a screen located about 20 degrees above your horizontal plane of sight. For a further explanation of this, refer to the progress guide. The 20 degrees means you must look upward to see whatever is to be projected on your screen. This screen will be located there, programmed into your mental computer as part of the exercise we'll be doing in a few minutes. You see, visualization and imagination are actually energy-gathering processes for altering the material world. When something like an object or a physical condition or a sequence of actions like shooting a basketball, when something is in its material form, you cannot change it with mental energy. Instead, you've got to project it back into the spiritual dimension where it can indeed be influenced by mental energy. 
Once the alterations, the improvements, have been made at this fundamental dimension, then the way is open for change to take place in the physical world. Sometimes people ask, why do you say the spiritual dimension is the fundamental one? After all, if you look around, you see the entire world motivated by the physical dimension in everything from the pursuit of material gain to the relief of suffering. The answer is, when I say the spiritual dimension is fundamental, I mean that it is the foundation upon which all else is built. It is the source from which everything else is derived. The spiritual dimension is the creative source. The spiritual dimension created this physical universe. By tapping it at the alpha level, we harness creative energy. We create what we mentally picture. Because, as we've discussed, everything that you see around you had its original existence in the form of thought. Everything existed in the form of thought or spirit before it became a physical reality. So when you desire to change something through imagination, or when you desire to create something new through imagination, you do so in the spiritual dimension. And the mental screen is a tool for focusing your thoughts, for making the whole process easier and more efficient. Remember, when you have already seen something, you visualize it. When you have not previously seen it, you imagine it. And when you change something that you have visualized, then you imagine the change. One of the most beneficial functions of the mental screen has to do with goal setting and goal achievement. By visualizing your goal, it is possible to program your mind to turn your vision into reality. You can direct your thoughts to achieve what you desire. When doing so, however, it's important to visualize the goal in its correct form, that is, in its final form. Suppose you want to get a job in a different department of your company, not because the pay is higher, but simply because you would enjoy working in the new department. You shouldn't visualize yourself seeing an announcement of the new job on your company's bulletin board. You shouldn't visualize yourself interviewing, and you shouldn't even visualize being offered the new job, because these are all interim steps. You want the new job because you would enjoy the work. Enjoying the work was your goal, so you should simply visualize yourself doing the work and enjoying it. If you wanted a different job because the pay was higher, what should you visualize? Getting your new paycheck and putting it in the bank. But more than likely, the money would not be an end in itself. It would be a means to buying the things you want. So you should imagine yourself buying those things. The important point to remember is imagine your goal in its final, fully realized form, and your mental computer will automatically program the intermediate stages. There's one more question that's often asked about the mental screen and about its power to influence the spiritual dimension. The question is, can these forces be used to harm things? Can they be used to make things worse instead of better? And the answer, in a word, is no. Mental energy is an attractive, or rather, an attracting energy. It cannot push, but can only attract back. We can only attract things in the physical dimension back to the perfect blueprint of the spiritual dimension, where all of what we call reality had its original existence. And the mental screen is a very useful silver method tool for accomplishing this. As a benefit of the long relaxation exercise you did on side three, you'll be able to reach your alpha level much more easily and quickly in the exercise Laura will take you through now. In this session and in future sessions, we will use the three-to-one method. In the last session, we programmed a connection between the number three and physical relaxation, number two and mental relaxation, and the number one and the basic plane level that you're learning to use for a purpose, any purpose you desire. As you take three deep breaths, you will visualize three, three times on the first breath, two, three times on the second breath, and one, three times on the third breath. You'll then be at the basic plane level. Size with the three-to-one method. Find a comfortable position. 
Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number three three times. Take another deep breath. And while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number two three times. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number one three times. You are now at level one, the basic plane level that you are learning to use for a purpose, any purpose you desire. To help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind, I am going to count from ten to one. On each descending number, you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. Ten. Nine. Feel going deeper. Eight. Seven. Six, deeper and deeper. Five, four, three, deeper and deeper. Two, one. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. Take a few moments now. To recall some peaceful scene that you have witnessed. Relax. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, relax and go deeper. We will now impress. New information for your benefit. Programming the mental screen. To locate your mental screen, begin with your eyes closed, turned slightly upward from the horizontal plane of sight, at an angle of approximately 20 degrees. The area that you perceive with your mind. Is your mental screen. Without using your eyelids as screens, sense your mental screen to be out, away from your body. To improve the use of your mental screen, project images or mental pictures onto the screen, especially images having color. Concentrate on mentally sensing and detecting true color. Every time you function at these levels of the mind, you will receive beneficial effects, physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help yourself physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help your loved ones physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help any human being who needs help physically and mentally. You will never use these levels of the mind to harm any human being. If this be your intention. You will not be able to function within these levels of the mind. You will always use these levels of the mind in a constructive, creative manner for all that is good, honest, pure, clean, and positive, and this is so. 
you will continue to strive to take part in constructive and creative activities to make this a better world to live in, so that when we move on, we shall have left behind a better world for those who follow. You are a superior being. You have greater understanding, compassion, and patience with others. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five and cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no headache, no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing, no buzzing in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your vision and eyesight. Vision, eyesight, and hearing improve every time you function at these levels of the mind. One, two, coming out slowly now, three, at the count of five, you will open your eyes, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before, feeling the way you feel when you have slept the right amount of revitalizing, refreshing, relaxing, healthy sleep, four, Five. Eyes open, wide awake, feeling... The tool you're going to acquire, in addition to the mental screen, is an extremely useful way for you to access your alpha level without having to count down as we do in our exercises. There are many times when it'll benefit you to access alpha quickly while you're taking a test, in a meeting or an interview, or if you feel yourself becoming angry or upset. There's a way for you to do that, and it's called the Three Fingers Technique. It consists of putting together the thumb and first two fingers of either hand. It's a way for you to instantly trigger alpha, and once you have programmed a desired response at your alpha level, you can activate that response through this method. Variations of this technique have been used for centuries in a whole range of meditative disciplines. If you look at ancient Buddhist or Hindu art, you'll see sacred figures depicted as holding the tips of the fingers together. This focuses the energy of the body. It's like completing a circuit with your hand, and it can have very beneficial uses. This is what the Silva Method refers to as the Three Fingers Technique, and once you have programmed it, you can use it to access Alpha at any time. Now that you've located the Alpha Dimension in the exercises we've already done, you'll be able to lock into that alpha dimension immediately by employing this technique, and you'll be able to use your mind with much greater power. Suppose you want to read a section of a book, and you want to be able to recall what you've read instantly and accurately. First, count down to your alpha level using the three-to-one method as we've been doing. Tell yourself mentally that you're going now to count up from one to three, and then at the count of three, you will open your eyes and read the book. Mention the author's name, the title, and the subject matter. You should also add, Noises will not distract me, but will help me concentrate. I will have superior concentration and understanding. Then open your eyes and read the book. Your mind will have adjusted to a deeper level of awareness and stronger programming. When you've finished reading, again, count down to your level. Tell yourself mentally, I can recall what I have just read quickly and accurately at any time in the future using the Three Fingers Technique. Once again, mention the author's name, the title, and the subject matter. When you want to recall what you've read, bring together your thumb and the first two fingers and tell yourself, this is all I need to do to recall the book. You can use the same procedure for recalling lecture material or for test-taking. You can use it any time you need to be at an enhanced level of mental power. 
If you are a manager and you're engaged in an important conversation with an employee, you can use the three fingers technique to activate your right hemisphere and use the intuitive power of your mind to move the conversation in the direction you want. This can be effective in any interpersonal encounter. It can immediately relieve stress and produce harmony. If you feel that you're becoming depressed or chronically angry, for whatever reason, you can program yourself with the idea that whenever destructive thoughts appear, you'll use the three fingers technique and the negative impulses will vanish. The procedure is very similar to the others you've learned. Go to your level with a three-to-one method and mentally tell yourself, I don't need to feel this anger. I don't want to have this anger. And from now on, whenever I feel this hostility in myself, I'll put these three fingers together and my anger will be replaced by a sense of calm and well-being. In the future, whenever you find yourself becoming destructive in your thinking, use the technique and your state of mind will automatically change for the better. Let's look at another application. Public speaking is universally acknowledged to be an anxiety-producing situation for the vast majority of people. In fact, most people consider public speaking to be the number one anxiety-producing environment. But there's a very simple way to diffuse this anxiety. If you know you are going to be speaking to a group of people, count down to your level and pre-program that when you put the tips of your fingers together, you'll be calm and in control. You'll immediately know exactly what to say, you'll know exactly how to say it, and in all respects you'll be at your best. Just tell yourself, this is all I need to do to make this an overwhelmingly successful experience for me and for everyone who is going to hear me. Remember, you may have become convinced that solving these problems or facing these anxieties has got to be difficult, complicated, and needs a lot of time. That is not true. With the silver method, you can take control of your life using these simple strategies. Even though they're simple, they are the result of years of investigation by Jose Silva, and they are very powerful. Millions of people have used them successfully throughout the world, and you can too. In the conditioning exercise we'll do now, we'll program the three fingers technique into your mental computer. Here's Laura Silva once again to guide you through the exercise. Exercise with the 3 to one method. Find a comfortable position. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number three, three times. Take another deep breath, and while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number two, three times. Take another deep breath. And while exhaling, mentally repeat and visualize the number one three times. You are now at level one, the basic plane level that you are learning to use for a purpose, any purpose you desire, to help you enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. I am going to count from 10 to 1. On each descending number, you will feel yourself going deeper, and you will enter a deeper, healthier level of mind. 10, 9, feel going deeper, 8, 7, 6, deeper, and deeper, five, four, three, deeper and deeper, two, one. You are now at a deeper, healthier level of mind, deeper than before. Take a few moments now to visualize some peaceful scene that you have witnessed.
relax. Take a deep breath, and as you exhale, relax and go deeper. We will now impress new information for your benefit. Programming a formula type technique. The three fingers technique. Bring together the tips of the thumb and the first two fingers of either hand. When you do this, your mind adjusts to a deeper level of awareness. A deeper level of awareness means stronger programming. Every time you function at these levels of the mind, you will receive beneficial effects physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help yourself physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help your loved ones physically and mentally. You may use these levels of the mind to help any human being who needs help physically and mentally. You will never use these levels of the mind to harm any human being. If this be your intention, you will not be able to function at these levels of the mind. You will always use these levels of the mind in a constructive, creative manner for all that is good, honest, pure, clean, and positive, and this is so. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five and to cause a sound with my fingers. At that moment, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before. You will have no ill effects whatsoever in your head, no headache, no ill effects whatsoever in your hearing, no buzzing in your ears, no ill effects whatsoever in your vision and eyesight. Vision, eyesight, and hearing improve every time you function at these levels of the mind. One, two, coming out slowly now, three, at the count of five, you will open your eyes, be wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before, feeling the way you feel when you have slept the right amount of revitalizing, refreshing, relaxing, healthy sleep. Four, five, eyes open, wide awake, feeling fine and in perfect health, feeling better than before.